Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder and FM20 Journey. We, uh, we're we back. I am a game late. I f Sue me, right? <laughs> I wanted to come back. I forgot. Uh, so, a couple of things going on. So, I, I am reading all your comments. I really want to give the tactics that I've downloaded a good run. So after last match, uh, we we drew with Skied football, uh, Skied football, Magnuson with a hat trick in the first half, and then we gave up three goals in the final 15 minutes, and they were a player down. We just collapsed defensively. Over-the-top balls just killed us. Uh, then we lost 1-0 to Elsend uh Jorgensen with a late goal in the 87th minute then we beat Ranheim uh Valterson Magnuson and Stinnerson with goals for us uh and then uh Arendal beat us two to one again we were up gave up the equalizer in the 76th minute and the game winner in stoppage time so uh then we beat odds four to two now odds is second in the table so they're pretty high above us and we beat them comfortably uh three first half goals uh they made it three two in the 70th minute and then diego romero got a second goal in the 90th minute for us just to salt that one away now here's what's interesting so if we take a look at our form going back to the start of the season all of these games up through ailson right in fact let's go down to there there all right so from here to here 15 league games two cup games but 15 league games we had six wins six losses and three draws we had a plus four goal differential 21 points out of 15 matches i was really disappointed with the run of form we were in giving up the late goals and everything else so what I did is I went back to our old 4-4-2 with the two defensive midfielders. And that's what we started playing against Ranheim. 3-1 win, 4-2 win, and a 2-1 loss with two late goals. So we almost had a draw here. So, so I'm looking at that as positive results more goals scored winning matches more goals conceded arguably right one and two but it's not like we were ringing up clean sheets so what are we talking about here all right so this is the tactic we played through the first 15 games and we're pretty familiar with it We've gotten accomplished, and that was one of the concerns. We're competent in the position, role, and duty. Now, these reds, that's because that's not our starting 11, right? But this is the one I've gone back to. I had, I had gotten this tactic at the very end of last season because I had been using a tactic like this and then we were using another tactic. So this is the one I had gone to at the very end of last season. If we take a look here, again, everything's pretty good. Competent position, role, and duty. Tempo's a little off, but we're still accomplished. So I want to give this one 15 games as it stands as it stands now again i took off the offsides trap i've dropped the the line one spot we are using get stuck in um but i want to use this one as is for 15 matches and then that'll put us 30 matches into the season so that's what i'm gonna do um that's why i went ahead and played odds on uh, off camera because i had just switched over and I wanted, you know, I wanted that one extra match. So we're going to come back today for Ham Cam and Jean Dalen. Uh, Jean Dalen gives us a game that should be winnable. Ham Cam is one that we will probably lose, although we thought we were going to lose to odds. And, uh, you know, 
So currently we are sitting seventh in the table. Odds has gotten knocked down from third, I believe, maybe fourth. But uh, you know we're right there on the cusp. So uh, one win, one uh, draw, one loss. No, that ain't right. One win, one loss. Yeah, yep. Since uh, since the uh, new uh, new schedule or the new tactic. So anyway, let's get to it today. Uh, we're taking this guy on trial just to check him out. He's a 29-year-old fullback. We did move a player off. Um, we can take a look at that real quick. Uh, Jonathan Christian Hale, we sent on loan to Fermat Amagar. Uh, so, and then um, everybody else is here. Uh, so we are, you know, we're, we were down a player. We brought in uh, our, you know, one guy that was like really not ready to play. But, you know, we only had that one thing. So we're going to go with it. All right. Match preview. All right. So we're underdogs here, but we are at home. So we're going to stick with this tactic as it stands. And let's get to it. I wonder if somebody's at the house. My daughter, I think, took the baby up to uh, the doctor. They may be coming home. All right. So we're in red again. I hate red. Of course, you can imagine being a Leeds fan. Not a big uh, red uniform fan. Uh, Jansen, Jansen. I was say Jansen Pontus. Oh, what a save by Olison. All right, sets up a set piece from the corner. Jessica headed out. Rolland clears it. Good job. All right, Rolland throws it to the other team in the attacking corner. Oh, Walterson loses it. Plays it deep to Murin. Crossed in. Oh, what a header off the crossbar. Ooh, a little lucky there. All right, we have yet to generate a shot. Hawkins throws it deep. Hooked up. Romero on the run. Oh, the keeper flicks it away. Sets a corner for us. All right, Valterson into the box, heads it out, a volley. Easy save for Rayoso. All right, nothing else going on. All right, we've managed a few shots here. There's a deep one into the box. Oh, that's a great finish by Bergenheim. Way to be in the right place. My wife's texting me about the animals. We had to bring, uh, bring a couple of our animals into the vet this morning. Our, one of our cats isn't doing well. Hopefully he's all right. All right, Hawkins, touch up to Bergenheim. All right, that's through to Magnuson. Oh, just off the mark. Oh, that would have been a nice finish. All right, 1-0 at the half. We've got more shots, more shots on target. Six out of seven on target. Now, you know what? We are, we are dragging. Um... All right, I do appreciate the efforts. We're really losing. Um, so I am going to drop to balanced here. Hello? Hello? 
You're not my TV provider. I don't have you for anything. Sorry about that. If I, I'll probably forget to edit that part out. Just saying. I do want to block that freaking number, though. They've been calling me a lot lately. <laughs> oh, my center back missed it. What a save by the keeper. Holy cow. How did he get out that far? Wow. I'm thinking he's uh, Mr. Fantastic from the uh, Fantastic Four, eh? All right, we blocked that number. Oh, bastards. Jesus. <laughs> All right, come on. Headed out. Yuranga, nice. All right, let's make a sub here. All right, Rollins not really ready to play with match fitness, so we don't want to kill him. Um, he is on the left, so let's bring Safarth. Actually, let's bring Stomparood over, and then we can bring Orsith into the middle. Could have brought Uranga in. Let's bring Uranga in uh, off for Stinnerson. All right, we'll get a couple of couple of players off. One yellow and one player still working on match fitness. All right, there's a lump and a half. Oh, that was not good. He was looking for the the ball inside. Oh my goodness! Get it out. Oh, you got to clear that ball, damn it. Oh, look at the layout header. Holy shit. That was brilliant. Did you see that? You guys got to go back and relook at that one. Holy cow. He laid out with a diving header to block the ball, block that shot. What a sacrifice from the defender. I think that was Safarth. All right, he goes over the top. Magnuson didn't make the run. All right, the keeper winds up. Oh, Hawkins, what was that? Stenerson, back to Sue, over the top. Magnuson, no, come on. I thought he had a goal there. All right, we've, we've actually brought possession just a touch back, but... Ugh. Come on. Woo! All right, let's tell him to... Come on. Nope. Hello? Hello? Nothing? Oh, come on. Push out. Push out. Push out. Oh. I thought I saw a lunge right there before the highlight cut away. All right. Um... Let's put Akinola on for Safarth. God, he is he's our best defender, but all right, Hawkins into the box. Oh, offsides. Really? Offsides. Hold on. That's Magnuson right there. Magnuson's not offsides. The other guy's not even in, in the... Uh, maybe because he obstructed the keeper? I don't know. That's brutal. That was a brutal offsides call. Oh, don't let him equalize in the final minutes. Holy crap. Come on, boys. Hold on. Tighten up. Yes! That's a huge win. So so they outshot us. Five chances to six, but they, they're much better than us. That's that's a good win. We're gonna go passionate. Well done. Nice. All right. Well, that keeps us in seventh position. But that's that's two big wins in a row, man. I mean, odds and ham cam. I'm happy with that. 
All right, we'll be back for uh, Jean Dalen here in just a second. All right, we are back. Um, man, you sit there and you listen to your man, your coaches sometimes. So they had us send uh, Christ, uh, Christensen Hale out on loan. And then they just turned around since we've changed tactics and said, oh, he could be of use in the squad as a fringe player calling back. So I did. He's not happy. Um, we've got a couple of guys that are looking to – is there any way I can terminate his loan? I don't even see the the offer. Transfer status. On loan at Halson. Nothing. All right. Well, so anyway, we've uh, we've called him back. We've got an offer on a right back to come in that may help us out. So anyway, we are the favorites in this game. So we are going to stick with this tactic. We're going to keep it as attacking. All right, we've got a couple of guys suspended. So Safar is going to move to right back. That's where that other guy will help us out a little bit. I'm going to pull Venedict off. Um, and I actually want, let's put him in the squad. And I want to give him a start out there for, well, I want to give him a start for Balterson, do I have a right defender? All right, well, he's unregistered. I don't know what that was. My other computer, I guess. Um, all right, let's get to this. So we've got... Two underwhelming wingers over there. All right, we are in the red once again. White on black. All right, good header up. Romero, look at the overlap. Rasmussen makes the overlap into Magnuson. Yes, he reaches double digits. Number 10 on the season, 36 seconds in. Brilliant finish. Nice, nice job. First shot of the game. We're up 1-0. Magnuson, what a header. Good job, fellas. We're going to praise him. we got some guys that are nervous there, especially the new guy. He bitches for starting time. I give him a start, and he gets nervous on me. What the hell? Oh, there's a nice ball into the channel. Good clearance out. Back to the keeper. All right, Rotmo. Good block by Lopez. Coming back from the right mid position. Magnuson, good first touch. Square it, square it. No, uh, that was not a square. That was kind of an angled pass. A little bit further back would have been great. Oh, how did he miss that? Was that saved by the keeper? Oh, man, that was a nice flick on header. No, that header was off target. Oh, that was by their defender. Good, sets up another one for us. Oh, they're guarding that short entry pass. Romero. Over to Sue. Heel kick, Orsif. The heel kick. The number two thing wrong with FM20. According to Loki Doki. I don't think he was talking about that particular style heel kick. He's talking more about the heel kick when uh, they stop it at the touchline. Ooh, that was almost top bends. And, uh, you know, when they stop it at the touchline and then run out of bounds and let the defend let the uh, other player come in and pick up a free ball. All right. He just threw it over Magnuson's head. That was pretty stupid. All right. There's a nice ball out into the box. Oh, man. I like the idea. I like the idea. 
out to Safarth. Dribbles in. No. Oh, Rostad. He's got a full breakaway. Uh, Allison. He got a hand on it, but he didn't flip it away. Ah, that sucks to lose a goal that late in the half. Shit. And we're not playing an offsides trap either, so that's that's definitely pissing. All right. Lopez is playing a 6-3. Aswold's playing a 6-4. We're going to have those guys on a short leash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So Rostad with a brace. Demand more. Over the top. Misplayed. All right. Rosmussen. Up into the middle to Stinnerson. Over the top. Romero makes the run. Into the box. Uh, he was looking for it. <laughs> How many times can we hit the defender? I do not know. Yeah, I don't know. Can we pass just a little differently? Yeah, that was a poor finish opportunity. Stomperud over the top. Magnuson. What a save. And he just swallowed that up. All right, you know what? We're going to make a we're going to make the switch here, man. All right, as well, well he, you're doing better than Lopez. Mid right. Let's put Middleton out there. You know, we're working on your match fitness and you're not playing great, but you know what? Nilsson. Let's bring him in for Romero. Romero's on a yellow. Some fresh legs up top. Oh, taken down in the box. No, no foul called. Pacheco. He's on the breakaway. Complete one-on-one. -on -one. Olison makes the save. All right, we need to demand more, fellas. Demand more. Stinnerson into the box. A flick on header. Oh, I thought it was going to be an own goal for just a second. There's that heel kick. Magnuson. Olison. Offsides. Ah. That, no, that wasn't Olison. Who was that? Magnuson. It was a son. I saw somebody's son in there. Oh, God. Um. Valterson. Another son. Okay, there's a header. Orsith. There you go. Offsides. Yep. Damn it. Oh, boys, we got about six minutes left here. Over the top. Steenberg makes the run, beats the defender. Oh, my God. How did that not go in? Uh, Middleton. Be there. Be there. Four minutes of added time. Oh, my God. How did that? Oh, no. First off, how did that first header not go in? And then the offsides. Oh. Hold on. I need to slow that down. I thought that was it. Oh, my God. It hit the defender. Uh, yeah. Only the keepers played him on there. Shit. Oh, that's brutal. Uh. 
I'm just going to let those numbers soak in for a minute. 25 to 14, 10 to 5, 10 chances created. 10. 10. I don't even know how to feel about that. Well, I do know how to feel about that. I am not happy. Well, and as Volt, it's your fault. I let you start and we lost. You bastard. <laughs> you bastard. All right. Um, I'm of a split mind here. So we're 20 games in. I want to give 15 games to this tactic, which would be 30. Now we play how many? Only 30. Really? Is that true? Yeah, so we only play 30. All right, well, never mind. I'm not of split mind about anything because that would bring us all the way to the end of the season. All right. Um, let's come back for... We just played Konsvinger and Sandez, right? So I don't want to come back for that. So let's come back for o Oslo and Tromso. Oh, crap. That's... And then we have Sandez anyway. Well, that's just how it's going to be. Let's come back for uh, Songdal and Konsvinger. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that splits it all in half. So we'll play three away. We'll play Songdal and Konsvinger. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to power through this. We're coming back for the final two matches. I'll finish all these games with this tactic as it sits. We'll finish out the last two with this tactic, unless I'm just in a really shit run of form. And then I'll scrap it. And then we'll start looking at uh, options at that point. So, um, yeah. So we'll come back for the season finale at this point. Really just because I want to get this season over with and probably leave this place. So let's take a look at where we're at. All right. Competition-wise, we're in seventh. We're supposed to uh, avoid relegation. And we're doing good there. We're on 30. We're... 13 points above relegation, right? 10 points above relegation chase. So I think we're doing okay. Um, my history, job history. So yeah, this is going to be our fourth season here. I think this is going to be it. I think we need to move just for personal growth. Um, so... Now, what happens is I go on vacation between matches just to, you know, that way, I, you know, a lot of times I'll go do stuff around the house, you know, I'll do my husband chores uh, while, while the games are playing, or I'll do some other things, uh, work on rendering videos and whatnot while the game, while the bit, while I'm on vacation between matches, I come back on match day, I play the game, and then we go on vacation again. So like right now, our next match is what? seven days so i would go vacation return for next match when we get to 8 22 the game will come back i'll go through the emails do whatever needs to be done and then play the match and then do the same thing we'll go on vacation another seven days play fluoro so on and so forth so a lot of times though what they'll do is they'll offer me a contract in that interim time while i'm on vacation 
and the game automatically accepts it. I think if you get something that's really important, like a transfer offer, uh, a board meeting, a contract offer, anything that basically that would have a must respond to it should bounce you out of vacation automatically, or at least give you the option to have that happen. It doesn't. I think that's a shortcoming of the game. I have made the suggestion. But anyway, and I, and I do that because I don't like having to click the button like 6,000 times. Um, even during the you know off seasons, you know, and trying to get up to the transfer window, I'll go on vacation like six days at a time to where, you know, I can come back and deal with stuff. But, you know, I'm not sitting there having to push the button 8,000 times to get from the end of the season in November back up to, to April when I'm ready to go. <laughs> so, because that takes freaking forever. It could take five or six hours just to get through the off season, even going on vacation. But anyway, um, yeah, I think this is going to be the last year. So if they offer me a contract, I'm going to tell them no, unless they do it on one of these week, you know, weeks that I'm on vacation. So be it. I don't, I, my contract does expire. Yeah. Contract info. Yeah. So it expires this year. I think they would offer me another one just on the, you know, because we're doing well, we're going to be well above relegation in all likelihood, knock on wood. But I think we're done. I think we're done at Halson and we need to move on and, and look for a change of scenery. So anyway, Hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind. Let me know, a, you know what you think about this being our last year here. Uh, because even if they do offer the contract, I will likely resign at the end of the season and free myself up to look for another job. Guys, we'll see you next episode. Again, hit the like button for me. That's your way of supporting the, the video and the channel. Subscribe if you're new, and we will see you next time here at FM20. Take care. Bye.